Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we are be taking a look at the mo all the camos in Call of Duty Cold War, and as you can see, I'm on the game right now, um, pretty lit, someone's managed to get me an early access version of the game, and I am on, I'm going to go through the camos, apparently diamond and stuff are different on different kinds of guns, so we'll be taking a proper look, and that's literally all we're going to do, but quickly before we do jump into it guys, if you're new around, you should be... But quickly guys, before we do jump into it, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. On the road to 5k subs right now, so if you can almost hit that, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you do enjoy the video, smash the big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on all the cameras in the comments below. I'm just going to keep this rolling. I'm just going to move my face cam up there. That's so the Right guys, so as you can see, create a class. I've got everything going on here. We are going to take a look first off at the uh, the ARs as well. Weapon mastery, as you guys can see, in case anyone wondered. There's some um, different different uh what do you call them challenges and stuff like that for each gun which is pretty cool same as in modern warfare you've got emblems uh calling cards different things like that the dark matter one that's pretty clean but you are here for the camos and the first ones are the spray ones and these are literally getting 300 kills that is all you have to do for the first ones on the ars as you can see we'll slowly go through them all so you guys get a little bit of a, a time to move them. unfortunately i can't move the gun around to show you a better angle then we've got stripes which is more like the typical black ops tiger camos and stuff like that so that's the first one these are all for headshots as well by the way if anyone was wondering obviously you've got the nice orange one there which is very black ops one-esque and the red one as well which is pretty clean then we've got classic camos and it's going to start off with the first one and this is get five kills without dying at three times, so it's bloodthirsty. It's back to being five kills, which is which is nice. It's a bit more of a challenge than three kills, because three kills on Modern Warfare was way too easy. Obviously, if you guys want to check out any of these more out in more detail, all you got to do is pause the video on the one that you like. These ones are pretty wavy. I like the fact that they're, the, the camos in this game are a bit more vibrant. They're a bit more bright. They actually look interesting. You know, they're actually like you you want to get them. Sorry, the uh, geometric ones as well, by the way, for long shots, if anyone's wondering. Then you've got flora ones. This one is for five uh, kill, five enemies detected, stunned, or blinded by your score streaks. That's a pretty cool one to add in. And again, vibrant colors, pretty cool colors. I like the cherry blossom one a lot. That's a really, really, really cool camo. I'm a big fan of that one. I'll probably use that quite often on some of my guns until I do have the better camos. These ones are cool as well. These are for uh, shoot and kill five enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer. So what, wall banging people? Is that what that means? That's pretty sick. Obviously, again, bright colours. They're nice. They're really cool. Psychedelic ones, two or more kills. These are double kills. Uh, obviously, like I said, if you want to pause them at any particular point, another good one. Like Just cool camos, man. They're just really bright. And here we are with the mastery ones. Gold looks clean. It looks very simple. It just looks like gold should. It's not too complicated. They've not added things to gold that shouldn't be on gold. It just looks good at exactly how it should look. Diamond looks so clean. This is super, super sick. Obviously, we don't know if... Um, it reacts or anything like that within game if you get a certain amount of kills as of yet. Nobody has worked that out because obviously no one's unlocked diamond as of yet. And Dark Matter, super clean, very nice. I really do like it. Animated or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, animated I suppose is the word. And yeah, it just looks very, very clean. I'm a big fan of that. Definitely worth the grind a lot more than what Damascus was. And it might not be as good as old uh, Black Ops Dark Matter, like Black Ops 3 and 4. That was very clean. But this is cool. I do like this. It's got more of a metallic look to it and it looks pretty cool. I'm now going to actually take a look, guys, at some other weapons as well, just to see how it does look on, say, pistols and different things like this. Because apparently some people have said it does change depending on what you've got. And at the moment, it doesn't look like it's changing, so it looks pretty clean. But as you guys can see, a very, very nice setup there for the uh, diamond pistols, which just look very nice. Again, I said I'll take a look at SMGs. Yeah, it looks, it looks the same on everything, but as you guys can see, a bit closer up there with the MP5 is each camo. And you've got the gold, you've got the diamond, and of course, you have got the dark matter as well. And they just look so clean, man. They just look very, very clean. I'm a massive fan of these. Definitely be getting the grind going on as soon as uh, I can. Zombies camos do have slightly different ones if you want to check any of these out. I'm not massive into my zombies, but these are the ones you have to get. The challenges, of course, you can see on screen as well. I'll just quickly go through them all. In case any of you here do like your zombies and you want to play a lot of zombies and get the new camos for that. To be honest, with there being mastery camos, if they're different in zombies, I may go for them just for the grind. That's a really cool camo. I like that. That's clean. But yeah, it's up. To, like these are cool as well, man. These are very sick camos. So a, a lot of these I actually might go for because they're actually pretty cool, to be honest. I'm a massive fan of the colours. They're vibrant. They just look good. They actually look like they're worth grinding for do you know what i mean you can put more than one camo on so there you go diamond in zombies is a purple diamond which is super cool it's very very sick gold's a little bit different as well it's got like a scales to it which is very sick dark matter is actually a lot more like black ops 4 dark matter that's interesting i'm gonna be playing zombies a lot more than i thought i was gonna because i want that and i want that <laughs> i'm gonna be honest so what do you actually have to do you have to get 20 kills 
without getting hit. Um, three or more critical hits rapidly. Get ten rapid kills. Um, get three elite eliminations. Not quite sure what that means. Get 250 kills. Uh, get 2,500 kills. Pretty simple. Get 2,500 critical hits and get 2,500 kills. But there you are, guys. They are the camos for our zombies and multiplayer. Very, very cool that they've mixed them up and you get slightly different ones. I think that is so sick. But yeah, if you do enjoy the video, smash the big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on all these in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, let me know in the comments below what else you want to see. I'm literally going to edit this as soon as it's finished recording. Upload it. So if there's anything else you want to see, let me know and I will get onto it ASAP. But if you haven't enjoyed the video, smash the big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And we'll catch you in the next one. In a bit. Peace.